morning YouTube. Marty here from Codcatcher. It is cold, it is windy, it looks like it's about to rain, but I'm going to try and catch some crayfish this morning. We're over at the Goulburn. Uh, I'm actually on one of the channels at the moment over near Merch. Wish us luck. <laughs> If you've never been crayfishing fishing before, there's a few things you've got to take with you. First thing is, you have to have a fishing license. Okay, so if you're in uh, Victorian waters, Victorian fishing license. If you're on the Murray, New South Wales fishing license. Second thing you want to have is a measurer. Okay, hopefully I can catch something today and show you guys how exactly this works. Uh, thirdly, you're going to need some nets, like so. Okay, and these all have to be labelled up with your name and phone number on them. Bait. Bait's the next thing. Bait of choice. Chicken drumsticks are nice and easy. I just cable tie them into the bottom of my nets. Can't go wrong. I think that's about it. So, I'm going to bait these guys up, label them up, and I'll show you when I'm throwing them in. So, I've only got the three nets with me today. Uh, I went and bought three newies. And um, I figured where I'm at, I'm three nets is plenty for just me. And uh, so I guess the next thing is baiting these chicken legs in. That's as easy as I like to do it. So uh, crayfish are going to love this. Okay, I just <laughs> I've just going to throw this first one in. Failed attempt number one. Uh, I was standing on my rope, but my rope wasn't fully untangled, so it only went out about two meters and crashed into the water. Will I put it into the video? I doubt it. But uh, anyway, the idea is, like a frisbee, straight out. My rope's now untangled. Should sail out, hopefully into about the middle, right? Like I said, I've got three nets. So I'm just going to place one here, one up a bit further. Uh, see this side, I've got a fence on this side of me, so I'm not going any further that way. And uh, I'll probably go a little bit further up. So just one, two, three in this section and there we go the old frisbee throw nice i could nearly wait a little bit longer no, i'll wait a little bit longer and then i'll do a impatient check as robbie alexander would say all right so i'll give it a little bit longer and then i'll and then i'll start just doing a quick check i'm a little bit concerned that the water was so low not that long ago and we might we might come up with absolutely donuts today as well. This was the first one we put in. It's actually in the middle of the other two, uh, but this is the first one we put in, and it's been the longest. So I'm going to check this one first. Oh, come on, fingers crossed. All right, guys, hope with me. It's been I've been doing quite a lot of fishing of all different types, and just no catching. So if we can get something. Oh, nothing. Nothing in this one. All right, is what it is. If I don't get anything shortly, I'm going to move. So I've allocated a few hours here, uh, but I know that if I don't get anything fairly reasonably soon, you know, if I if I if I go crayless for one, two, three checks of the nets. I'm getting out of here and I'm going further north. I'll end up at Tulamba or somewhere like that. I do have some funny footage uh, of uh, the last time I was here, or, or in the Gamby, uh, sorry, in Murchison at the other channel. Uh, I've got some funny footage because I, uh, oh, look at that. That's not good. Oh, damn. Got it all tangled up. All right, throw him back out. Even in, even when you do it your best, give it your best frisbee, you can still come unstuck. So, uh, sort of drag on something on the bottom there. Hit something on the bottom anyway. Uh, no good. Okay. I'm going to 
gonna give it one more shot here for all three nets and then I'm going to leg it if I don't get anything because I need to catch something I can't keep doing this I've got that many videos where I've been out fishing lately and gone home with donuts uh, I don't upload them you've seen me on there's been nothing coming up on my feed because nothing getting caught <laughs> but uh, not today today we are going to catch a crayfish no matter what That's time. second check of the nets wish us luck if we get nothing we're moving and so uh, hopefully hopefully we don't get nothing the next spot's only probably 20 minutes away but it'd be really nice to just get something nah. That's definitely not going back in in a hurry. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. Ooh, that's two for two. If I get nothing in the third, we're out of here. I would love to get one in here just so that I know that they're back in here. Because it's not as far of a drive from my place to here. Zip. All right. See you at Tulamba shortly. I'll bring you back when I'm on the bank throwing them in. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. We are at sunny Tulamba. I've never been to Tulamba before. Uh, I basically just pinned the bridge that's in Tulamba going over the Goulburn. And uh, we are going to have a go here at Crayon. The bank here is a really steep clay bank, perfect cray conditions. So I've got my hopes of just gone through the roof. Uh, I've got to get these nets in. It's what basically about getting close to 10 o'clock. So I'll get these nets in. First check will be about 10.30. But my God, this looks awesome. I, uh, I'm not getting any closer because it is really wet, really slippery. Obviously the water's gone down recently, I would imagine. So, because the bank looks like it's been waterlogged. So I'm going to throw up from here and hopefully drag these guys up this bank. The first one in, uh, thread the needle through the trees, hopefully, and uh, foot's on the rope. Here we go. Oh, a bit of luck that'll work out all right. So net number three, uh, I've got a log going off that way. I've got this stuff over here. I'm up here behind a stick that I'm going to tie off to. And I'm just basically going to try and plop it down right in the middle there with a bit of luck. So there we go. Something like that. Now, I, I've got a bad feeling that I'm going to get quite uh, muddy <laughs> trying to get that one back out. First check. First check of the nets at Talamba. Here we go. Now, I'm not getting all the way down there. I'll pull it up, hopefully. Oh, hopefully I don't get it snagged. I might have got it snagged already. Wowzers. <laughs> Tell you what. Luck is not on my side today. Oh, might have unsnagged it. Might have ripped the net a bit. I don't care. Nothing in it. Ah, oh, that was but terrible. I don't think I can see any holes in the net. So, if there were any crazy in there, they would have definitely legged it out of there. I'm actually just going to um, aim a little bit more this way this time and maybe away from that little spot. And we'll try again. Perk myself up against this tree so I don't fall in. Hopefully I don't get this one snagged as well. Hopefully, we can get our first cray on the board. That'd be the best thing. Nothing. No good. Definitely, you see that stick that snapped off? So definitely, 
got itself caught up on a little stick in there but that's not too bad actually looks like something might have even been eating the uh the chicken you see that something's had a go at the chicken okay good try again foot on the rope i'm a little bit worried about going in going and getting up um <laughs> Just with how far away that one is still i might make my way down this log and see if i can wedge my foot on there and hopefully get back out again <laughs> all right well uh i won't film this because who knows what will happen i could fall it could make plenty of same videos that's not a thing anymore but yeah anyway fail army here we go <laughs> this one hasn't been caught up on anything that's a good sign so far every other one's sort of been caught on something oh baby I've got two little crays, and they're only little, and they probably fall out, <laughs> and I'm stuck on the log. Wow, look how small these guys are. I'm just, I'm gobsmacked. Both only got one claw reach. Oh, let's see, he's got a second claw. Flick you over. All right, guys, so nice, nice little Murray Cray. Only a baby, only a baby, no eggs. All right, but hey, there's good news. We're onto them. We've got one. We've got a Cray. I wasn't filming. <laughs> I've thrown one in. I forgot I, was, I wasn't filming. I was taking some photos. Anyway, I've got the other one to throw in. Oh, I'm happy now. I'm happy now. I can sit here all day long now. I know they're here. And I don't know. I've got him out of the net at long last. Have a look at him. Hey, he's beautiful. Absolutely awesome. Alright. If you're not sure how to pick up craze, it's very similar to the way you pick up a yabby. You hold them right in here and basically just hold their claws this one's obviously missing the claw on this side these little pincers they don't hurt that much uh, and if you've got kids with you uh, welding gloves or riggers gloves work really well and save the kids getting the spikes in their fingers these little spikes they don't hurt that much they hurt a little obviously they're there to protect them so yeah nice healthy one claw missing but it'll grow back so back you go too buddy <laughs> all right so i'm stoked we're not going anywhere today we're staying here <laughs> like i said those other two nets they just got snagged up i reckon if they hadn't got snagged up i reckon we would have had something in them especially when that uh second one had the very visible uh you know, evidence that the the chickens had been the chicken chickens the chicken had been eaten a little. Now I've got, like I said, this was always going to be the hardest one to get to, but worth it. And, and to be honest, these crays could be living on all these logs. They buried in into the mud. So absolutely stoked. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. Anyway, I'll be happier if we can get one that's legal size. And for the first time in a little while, you guys are going to get to see a video. There's been quite a lot of times I've been going out and coming back with nothing. So yeah, we're going to be on the board. And you guys are going to see it. <laughs> oh dear. You can tell I'm excited. Alright, I'll bring you back for round two checking. This would be this would be an awesome spot to uh, to come along yeah i reckon end of end of august or even or even over summer summer would be nuts here um you know i could i could just imagine me sliding my kayak into here there's a bit of carpet here it's perfect so yeah slide the slide the kayak down and um and i reckon it'd be i reckon it'd be unreal just go for a paddle up bit of a flick each way yeah Beautiful spot. 
Anyway, don't take my word for it. Get out there and try it. Alright guys, so net number one for the second time at Tulamba. Here we go. Let's hopefully hope that we don't get it snagged up this time. And we're up the bank. Didn't get it snagged. Nothing in it though, that's okay. Okay. I'm not keen. I've got me I've got my size thing out here. <laughs> and uh, it's in my pocket. Net number two, we've got to get this up this hill. Alright, wish me luck. So far so good again. Oh, nothing. Oh, definitely that one over there is the better spot at the moment. Ready, city, spaghetti. Nice. I've got a lot of mud on my boots here, pretty slippery, and uh, we're going to try for this third net. This one we just had the, the two little guys on. Let's go, let's get it in. Oh, another one. Oh, another two. Could be the same. No, it's not the same two. Wow. Wish him good luck. See you, mate. <laughs> See you, buddy. Woo. All right, again, no eggs, two claws, different two from the last two we got. Hey, beautiful looking creatures. They're fascinating, they're just so unreal. All this protective shell on them, it's just nuts. Love them. All right, back you go, bud. woo <laughs> uh, If you do get a female one that's got berries, no right, eggs, we don't we don't throw them okay you don't you don't throw a female with berries in that that's 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 no go right um that's not written anywhere that's that's just that's just a code of conduct you should be doing right if you've got a female with berries place her back in the water gently or put her on the bank so she can slide back in herself here i probably wouldn't actually release her here i'd probably just go to a I'd probably just go over here and work my way down nice and close and, and leave her on the bank there so she could roll back in. But um, yeah, you definitely definitely don't want to throw one in with eggs back in. Uh, third round of jacks. Uh, if I get nothing on this one, I think I'm going to move it down. I'll see if I can get across this nonsense here or around it. And I think I'm going to move it down onto that point and throw it a little bit maybe towards that bridge. We'll see. And if I get something, I'll stay here. I might just sneak down the hill a little bit. It's very slippery. Oh. Alright, here we go, ready? Third check, first net. Nothing. Nah. We'll move this one, alright? But that's not a bad spot. We'll give it a shot. Stand on the rope and throw. That was a little bit of hard work. Uh, same rules apply for this one. If we've got nothing, this will be the third check of this net with nothing. If so, I'll take this one up to the campsite and throw it off the bank near the campsite, I reckon. So we'll give it a shot here. Uh, here we go. Come on. Hey, okay. Oh, jeepers. I flipped it, but we've got two littlies. I'm happy with that. Two littlies is better than nothing. <laughs> All right. You're definitely, whoa, definitely on the little side, you. Get this off your tail. Stop hissing at me. <laughs> nice, another male. I haven't found a few females yet. You go back, and <laughs> and you. Oh, push that big spike away. There we go. All right, beautiful. Another boy, another little boy. Not quite size. Not coming home today. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> See ya. All right. Now I did say if I didn't catch any here, I was going to move it. Uh, I caught some. So it stays. Happy with that. I'll just move my leg back to the tree. Ooh. That's it. Oh, it's going to pop all right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> We foot on the net, foot on the rope. Woof! It's up to six so far. Hey, I'm loving this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to bag, you know, six little ones, ten little ones. I don't really care. Um, like I say, the amount of times I've actually, you know, gone out in the boat and caught, you, I could, you could catch twenty odd, um, and nine times out of ten, you might only get like one keeper. So to catch six little ones so far odds are that we might get to a keeper eventually but if not i'm just having a good day out now so happy days six on the board i don't want to moz moz this net but uh, so far it's been our best performing all day come on give us a legal cray oh 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 could it be i've got to get that up there now there we go. I don't care if I rip me out a little bit at this point in time. That, that's either close to a legal cray or a female. Could be a female, could be legal. Ooh. The way that tail's tucked up like that tells me I'm gonna find eggs. I just, I got a bad feeling there's gonna be eggs in there. Oh, you cheeky bugger! I got this bad feeling, which is good. It's it's. it's I won't be mad if I do see eggs. I'll be happy. The way that's the way that's tucked up like that, I've got a funny feeling we're going to find eggs. If there's not eggs, I'm going to run up the hill so that I'm not on the bank here and try to measure it. If there's eggs, let's we'll see. Show us, show us the eggs. There, I can see them, right? Can you see the eggs, guys? Look at that. That's what we call a Jenny. That's a female cray. She's got eggs. Like I said, I'm not going to throw her down that hill. Size-wise, she's. Oh, it's a bit hard to tell. I'll see if I can get another another go at that while I go and move over here so i can release her i'll release her somewhere safe she's beautiful hey how good's that so she goes straight back the only thing i'm mindful i don't want to throw her down the hill okay so straight back i'm gonna make my way back up this hill carefully Show us, darling. Show us how big you were. Okay, see, so you're watching. This is the 12 centimeter. She's actually, she's that's actually oversized. So she's oversized regardless. It doesn't matter anyway. She's got eggs. And look at those beautiful eggs. Okay, she's got to go back in the water real quick. So I'm gonna try and <laughs> I'm gonna try and skate down this bank here. Uh, where's the best spot to do it? Uh, uh, I'm going to try it here. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Good luck, everybody. Get a bit muddy here. Oh, whoa! I told you I was going to skate down the hill. <laughs> Alright. So what I'm going to do... I'm, I'm trying not to fall in the water. All right, so I'm just gonna sit her. Don't flap your tail around, love. Just, she was just gonna walk backwards gently. You guys are gonna watch her. Hey, is that not the most awesome thing? I'm back in the water, mate. You're beautiful.
Okay, that's how you release a female. You don't throw them in. You don't drop them in right, but doesn't roll down the hill, but I think she's good. I think she'll manage. That is the perfect release. Absolutely awesome. All right, and she's hiding now underneath that log. Perfect. Well, I'm wrapped. I'm absolutely stoked with that. I gotta get that net back in though, because I'm still going home with no craze. <laughs> Had a little bit of fun getting back up the hill. Uh, <laughs> but I'm okay, and I'm not covered in mud yet. I've got a bit of rope under my foot there. Let's see if I can get it free. That's it. All right, frisbee, frisbee time. Guys, round four. So this is our, uh, I think it's our first check of the net here at the bridge. Uh, get that untangled and off we go, ready? Just gotta to remember to get it over this log at the end here. And try to. Oh, no good, no good. It's picked up, guys, but second net. Remember last time we had two littlies in it? Hopefully we can get... Oh, I've snagged it. I've snagglepussed it big time now. Whatever was in it, won't be. I'm gonna bring the whole branch up. I've got it caught. That's unlucky. Okay. They're definitely caught up. I'm gonna try a different angle. Just see if I can. come up no good all right so this can happen this this is why these nets aren't that expensive all right uh, but I don't give up that easily <clears throat> Ooh, I gotta do uh, I think I'm gonna go over this way there we go. I'll fall in. It's the last thing I want. <laughs> Whatever craze we're in this, they won't be now. It is what it is. Unless they're really caught up in the net, but <clears throat> I've popped it. Got it free. No craze. We've got the net out. And uh, it's a little bit misshapen. But it's not too bad. We've got to get another cray. Remind me. <laughs> remind me. You won't remind me. But when I pull this up, I've got to go this way a bit with it. Here we go. Net number three. Oh, it felt like a little bit of weight in it. I say that and there's nothing. Hey, I just think I'm getting excited. All right, I can go back in. I'll leave it a bit longer. What's going on guys? So my phone died, uh, sorry, my GoPro died. So I'm on my phone and uh, I pulled the first net in and got nothing. The second net I've just pulled in and I've got four in here. Now, oh, sorry, phone color. Now I've just checked, I've just checked this guy here and he's actually legal. I'm not sure yet if it's got eggs. The way that the tail's tucked up, it might, it might very well be a female. But if we have a look at from the back of the eye socket, you can see that that's a perfect, that's m more than 10, more than 10 centimeters and less than 12 centimeters so depending if there's eggs in here will depend on whether we've actually got ourselves a legal craze so you can see there good old berries 
So she's going back. It's a 10 centimeter mark. Oh, well, there you go. Look at that. 10 centimeter mark. Only just. And that actually might be the legal cray. Well, I'll be buggered. All right. Here I was thinking this one was going to be the legal one, which it is with eggs. So we've actually got one here. Back of the eye, back of the carapace. Only just. I say only just. I'm well within, but I'm I'm definitely legal. And definitely legal that way. So this guy, which I don't think has any eggs, is a keeper. These two littlies are littlies and will return. This girl, she's got eggs and she goes back. I'm just gonna double check we've got no eggs under this one. And three of these guys are definitely going back. There we have it. Our first and potentially our only legal cray of the day. First of the season. Legal cray. I'm going to uh, put this guy in the esky and I'm going to release these three. All right, so I'll bring him back to release these three. So that's the little boy. Little male, no eggs. I'm going to show me, but no eggs in there. So he's going back in. Oop. All right. I tried to get down the other side earlier and I did it sort of successfully slash unsuccessfully. I've just dropped these two Jennies here. One's not far from the water. The other one's just here. And she'll make her way down there too. I'm not gonna leave until I know she's in the water. I don't want someone coming along and poaching her out. Hopefully that's not too steep of a bank there. Yeah, she's gonna work her way down. So I'm just gonna make sure I can get this one down there too, safely into the water. In the meantime, I'll bring this net up. These guys are going back to water. All right, she, she's made it. She has a roll at the end, but I think she's fine. So one in. This one's nearly through the bush there. I don't know why I put her in that grassy stuff, but anyway. But it'd be nice and soft. <laughs> anyway, she'll get down there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reel this one in real quick. She should get down closer. I'll film her going in so you know she goes back. And... Uh, yeah, the other one, the other one, the legal one, he's up in my esky. Go on, get in the water. Like I said, <laughs> it's, it's nicer if you don't throw them in. It's even better if you've got somewhere nice to actually just launch them back in, uh, much like a boat ramp, you know, like <laughs> uh, instead of trying to wrangle your way down a steep bank like this. Really made it. She's gonna roll, I can tell. She might have it. Don't go backwards. <laughs> Beautiful. See you, mate. Echoes that. You can still see a claw sitting there underneath that log. <laughs> Off she goes. Right, eh? Well, I'm getting out of here. I'll, uh, I'll film a short outro when I get back home. Once I plug the GoPro in for a little bit. But for now, I've got to get back up this steep and slippery hill. I'm holding onto the log for dear life. <laughs> hey, Alright guys, so that was a successful trip. Craying, alright. One legal cray. Could have got two, but uh, we weren't that lucky. So one legal cray for the day. I'm chuffed. I'm absolutely stoked with that. I was stoked at the moment that we got in a couple of small ones. So anyway, hopefully we'll go again soon and uh, I'll take you along again. Cheers, guys.